It's vegan style. right fruit makes you real fat doesn't it eating the high carb lifestyle just woke up Drink in my liter of water. So, what's the deal with these things? Yes, these holes in my ears. Both ears. Right here. Um, and what's the deal with this? It's drawing on my arm. And this one. And this one. And that one. And this one. And this one. What's going on? Or you're you're destroying your body. You're you're destroying this God given gift of perfection and and you're throwing it all away. You're you're ripping holes in your skin and you're and you're drawing all over the place. What's the deal? People have been asking me for the past Five years after I after I got these, after just I got little ear piercings, just regular old ear piercings, not these big holes. But why do you do that? You're hurting your body. So my best friend growing up um, is from Israel, and in Israel, all the little boys get a one ear piercing. It's just a very normal thing to do in like elementary school for guys. And so I grew up seeing him over the summers, and I thought his ear piercing was the coolest thing ever because no, no boy in America had the balls to get an ear piercing. Um, so I always grew up with that. I thought it was pretty cool, but my parents weren't into it, wouldn't let me do it. And I was like, fine, I'm probably too scared to do that anyways, just socially. Um, and then it finally got to high school where I was like, you know what, I've wanted this all the time. I realize now it's not a big deal. I might as well do it. So in the 10th grade, I got a one ear piercing, just one. And I rocked that for a while. I wore my mom's like jewelry that she had. I would like put in dangly earrings of my friends at school. It was fun, it was funny, and I did that. Um, and then eventually, um, actually before I even got this one pierced, I went to Israel with a bunch of camp friends in 11th grade, and one of my friends, um, not pressured me, but I agree that it would be cool, she advised me that I should start gauging it, which means doing this, making it wider. So I bought this little spike taper that starts off as a little thing, and it's about this long, and then it gets just a little bit bigger. And for like three days, I just jammed that thing deeper and deeper into my ear because I didn't know the proper way to do it. Really, the proper way is to go up a tiny bit each size so that when you put in a bigger earring, you don't even feel it. It just feels a little tight and it goes away in like 20 minutes. And then you wait for that for like two or three weeks. And then you put in another one, wait, and then it over time just gets much bigger. So I had like a decent little hole after like three days. Um... And then once I just kept that in for a while, I just had one gauged ear and one that wasn't. I just was like, this is weird. And I was making this one bigger. So I went to a tattoo and piercing shop and you can actually get a gauge right away. They sort of take a scalpel and just sort of cut a slit in your ear. They don't punch a hole. They cut a slit long enough so that they can put in an earring and it stretches all ways to a little hole. So I got this one put in and now so I got double and I continue to make them bigger because right now they're not even that big um, they're ha these are half inch um, and I just think it's fun I can put things through my ears here's a pencil so I'm in class I can hold it there it's kind of fun hey and it falls out the back you know it is it is a hole it is straight up a hole and I can hold paintbrushes in there. 
uh, flowers when I'm hiking and backpacking. Um, so there's one reason. It's just fun. It's just kind of cool. Another reason now um, is guess who had huge holes in his ears? Buddha did. So in a way, I now think that although these started out as just recreational for fun, they do sort of honor um, and mimic the idea of long lobes um, as a sense of mindfulness. And the Buddha had gauges. He did. Here, so you can check them out. People are like, oh, do they hurt? Do they hurt you? No, they don't hurt. I can pull on this thing really tight and it feels absolutely nothing. I'm actually pulling on it. And I and I and it does not hurt whatsoever. It's totally healed on the inside. There's no like gooey flesh. So look, I can take it out. And you can take a look at it. It's just a hole. Like that. I can, you know, stick my little finger in there. And it's not gross, it's not fleshy. And then I just put it right back in. So, are they, you know, are they my identity? Do I need them? No. I, I went like, the past like, I, I only actually recently put them in again. Like, I went like a year and a half not ever wearing them once. I just took them out. Um, and they and and they shrink down to a smaller size. I've had to make them bigger. Um, they don't define me. They aren't who I am. They're just this one sort of fun aspect of my outer exterior body that I have played with. Um, I I think it's literally the same thing as growing a beard or even like wearing glasses. Like I don't see any difference. Um, next we go on to tattoos. So tattoos. They're permanent. They're permanent on your body. Well, guess what? This body is not who I am. So here my yogic side comes out. You, the person I'm communicating to, the person that is communicating to you, me, is something that is not tangible and that you cannot see. It is my soul, my heart, my capital S self, however you want to define it. Is it right here? Maybe. Is it right here? Sure. It's this spirit. It's this vibration, this energy that is communicating to you. This body is just a vehicle for my soul to drive in for the next, you know, 80 years and talk to people and touch people. And then guess what? This will go away. We all know. All of our bodies will go away. They will shut down. They will go into the earth and other energy sources will use them as fuel for their lives, okay? That is scientific fact. I don't care if you get cremated or buried, some something or someone, whether it is a bacteria in the soil or a bird in the air, is going to consume your once living energy, your body, and it will use that energy to create its life. While our souls, our capital S self, will embody some other energy that also died and recycled itself. So the body does not define you. Whether you are fat or whether you are skinny, whether you have tattoos, whether you have gauges, or whether you are black or white or anything, doesn't actually define your identity. You are your inner self, your inner light. When you feel love, that is who you are. When you feel scared, that is who you are. You are not your fingernails. So by punching holes in your ears and drawing all over your skin, this is all very temporary compared to your capital S self, which was never born and will never die. It's going to last a lot, a lot, a lot longer than the physical body. So now, while I started getting tattoos and gauges because it was just a fun thing to spark conversation about my interests, I have a huge beat on my leg. You have no idea how many times in a yoga class or walking around a city in shorts, people say, hey, why do you have a big beat on your leg? And I say, oh, well, I um, am really into plant-based nutrition and I educate people on healthy lifestyles. Want to talk for a little bit? And they usually do. I've influenced so many people by talking about my tattoos first. 
Um, the honeycomb, same, same thing. They say, why do you have a honeycomb on your arm? And I say, well, there's a thing called colony collapse disorder. And because of industrial agriculture, a lot of our bees are disappearing and dying and we can't grow food without them. Do you want to, do you want to hear a little bit more about how we should support small scale, sustainable plant-based farming? And they talk about it. I mean, the OM, the same thing. This is the symbol OM, also known as pranava, which is the eternal vibration, universal vibration that connects all things together, destroying duality and making us all one. And I have trees and Buddhas and all different symbols of this one unifying energy, which makes us love everything instead of be violent and hate. So I'm able to spark conversation by my tattoos. I'm not destroying my body. I'm not even affecting or I'm, I'm not destroying my soul. I'm not even affecting me. This is not me. This is my temporary vehicle, which I am embodying in this lifetime. And one day it will go away and myself will transcend into something else. So I think tattoos are fun. They're not necessary. If you get them, you're not a bad person. They really don't define you. Um, if you get them, make them peaceful, make them thought provoking so that you can make the world a better place. This is Vegan Style. This is Vegan Style.